Hello beautiful people and welcome back to A Nice Road to Glory episode 24. You're just seeing the remnants of my squad battle progress here. Elite 1, that's what I'm aiming for. There may be some big changes to the series, I am unsure as of yet because I don't know if I can be bothered with the weekend league already two weeks in playing on PC. I did not realise that the, the rewards were quite so terrible. I assumed they were exactly the same as console. They are not. Gold 2 rewarded me 30,000 coins, a mega pack and a 25k pack. Whereas on console that would be 50,000 and two 55k packs. I am not playing that many games for a mega pack and a 25k pack when I can do squad battles and get better rewards basically and don't have to give up my weekend. Looking at um, uh, Weekend League on PC, the only sort of reasonable rewards are Elite and upwards and even then Elite isn't great. Gold 1 is crap, Elite 3 is crap, <laughs> all the way up to basically Elite 1 and unless you're getting top 40 as I now know it is, it's not top 100, it is not worth it. And that I find incredibly strange. I don't understand why the rewards are so much worse when player prices are so much more expensive on PC. I really don't get it. It just makes no sense to me that it's... Why are the rewards worse? Why? What's the logic behind it? Yes, you have to play less games, but there's also a smaller player base. And I've got to say, the level of players on PC seems to be a lot better than console from judging by last year anyway when I played on console and my aim every week was just gold free and I'd hit that in about 20 games so that was giving me about a 9 to 1 win ratio something like that on PC I'm, mm, it is a new game so I can't judge entirely but I'm pretty poor considering I got gold too and I had a terrible start this week which has made me just want to give up and just focus on squad battles because frankly if I can get top 100 in squad battles which I believe I can that's a much better reward than even, I'd go as far to say, as Elite 3 in Weekend League. And it's a lot less stress. What does that mean, potentially, for the series going forwards? I don't know. It could be all change. All change, all change. <laughs> Is it? It's not going to become an offline series, but what can I replace the Weekend League with? Potentially drafts, some season gameplay, changing up my squad every now and then. You know, changing the squad very regularly, testing out new teams, doing squad builders, stuff like that. But then you lose a lot of coins selling and buying players. So I don't know. If you've got any suggestions about anything, any sort of gameplay or game modes you'd like to see, potentially, we could go on some draft runs, stuff like that. Let me know because I'm definitely open to it and I definitely don't think I'll be doing Weekend League anymore. That could all change, however where at some point I might get bored and just feel like doing a weekend league one week. Though right now, it's very doubtful. Right now it's the Friday, actually, and I played, I don't know, like six games, and I did so badly. I got like two wins, and I took one deserved loss, I'd say. The others were just to the usual crap on FIFA that just makes me can't be bothered with it, in all honesty. Yeah. So, you're seeing the team there, some changes. We picked up the informal Nausevich, paid 49,000 coins for him on the day he came out. Slightly too much, I would say. But, he's a decent player. The review on him has been... hasn't been recorded as of yet. It, all the footage is recorded, I just need to edit it. And the 85 Salah review should be out as now. You can go and find that on my channel. But... Today, we are going to see some Seasons gameplay. This was the first day I thought, you know what, I've been playing Squad Battles all week. I've probably forgotten to play ha online, how to play online. We should maybe go and do some Seasons, get back into the swing of things. And that is exactly what I did. Switching up still to the 4 one 2 2 I don't know if I want to play that formation anymore. Look what we're coming up against, 4 5 one. I wonder if he got that from my video. I wonder, because he actually played the exact way I tell you to play in my video with the 451. So I'm not sure. But it is early on in the game where my opponent, again abusing the overlap, does very well. A ridiculous finish from Bellarabi. Puts him 1 0 up. Pretty much straight from kickoff, if you look at the time. It probably was straight from kickoff. I doubt I touched the ball. And he runs around celebrating for the longest time, which was 
Annoying to say the least, but Sun and Shevchenko doing work up front and we're one all quite quickly. Fun, 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 fun. Took a little bit longer now, 39th minute, but we are going to tear through our opponent here with some beautiful play out to Salah, Salah into Sun, Sun body faint through to Shevchenko and when Shevchenko gets in on goal, somehow it ends up in the back of the net. <laughs> it doesn't matter, but Shevchenko's always put in. However, it was not a smooth ride as my opponent gets a chance there, but we do well with Fabianski bringing him out to clear the ball away. And then it's Arnautovic who plays it through into Shevchenko. Shevchenko, too much pace for Mustafi and too clinical for the goalkeeper, giving us that 3-1 lead. Oh, I left out the 3-2 goal. My apologies. But we do go 4-2 up there. Uh, my opponent, he wasn't particularly good. I never felt uh, particularly panicked against playing, uh, playing against him. And we're just going to sweat it across there to Shevchenko. Smart finish, always go for that. If you've got it on, why risk it? And that was indeed how that game finished. A trick up a 5-2 win against FT Wurstbrot, giving us three points in the division. Coming up against our next opponent there. Pretty crap team. Anyway, let's get back to what I was talking about. Um, I don't know what to do. What do you do on FIFA if you don't play the weekend league? Like, there's draft, squad battles, obviously. That will continue, but... Does anyone actually want to see squad battle gameplay? Because it is just against the AI, although sometimes it can be helpful seeing however, however, how how other people play against the AI. Sorry, I'll get my words out eventually. I don't know if it's that interesting for people seeing AI gameplay. You want to see people going up against other people. I mean, I do as well. If I ever watch videos, I want to see them playing against other people. I don't want to see games against the AI, so perhaps not. But it leaves me at a little bit of a loss as what to fill the road to glory with. Because I'm not going to stop. I will keep playing it, undoubtedly. FIFA is like the only game I will play every year for a whole year. And even last year without playing the road to glory. Um, road to glory, sorry. I did do a road to glory last year. I didn't put any money into the game. And uh, what happened? What, we st I still ended up with like... 3 million coins just from doing SBCs and just mucking about maybe playing some offline seasons and stuff so it's not like it's not out of the realms of impossibility to get really good rewards really good uh, coin totals really good players on this game without playing the weekend league I feel like some people think it is maybe that's what we could do should we change it to a road to glory with no weekend league because I know so many people can't play the weekend league, you don't have the time. And I personally don't really have the time, to be honest. You've got other commitments. You've got other stuff you want to do. You don't want to give up your whole weekend. I mean, I've only got 25 games on PC, but that's still a lot, to be honest. That's more than I want to play. I can't fathom a lot of people playing 40 unless you're, like, a professional player or a YouTuber. It just doesn't seem realistic for a time scale. So, actually, yeah, this might become a road to glory with no weekend league. Let me know if that's something you want to see, because I know I can get a lot of coins still without playing the Weekend League. I will literally never play it. I might play the Daily Knockout, just for some fun here or there, you know. But we might stick to stuff like Squad Battles, Draft and Seasons. It might be a working man. Should we make it a working man's road to glory, in fact? People who don't have the time, but still want to get the good rewards. Look at this for a goal, by the way. Oh, Scorcher from Arnautovic. Brilliant long shots, terrible finishing. That'll be in the review, no doubt. But shall this become the working man's road to glory? People without the time to play the weekend league will see what we can do. You know, I could potentially look at investment tips, although I think investments aren't going to work this year because people are so clued up. Actually, no, tell a lie. Investments are going to work this year. Uh, I will tell you how they're going to work later on. Look at that, by the way. From inside his own half, what a goal. Apologies for the chair, it needs some um, WD-40. Investments do still work, but the trouble is you've got to be ahead of the curve. People are now stockpiling their investments, like their informs and stuff. People are holding them, and you're going to have to hold them for a seriously long time if you want to get any sort of uh, coin increase value out of them. So you've got to be ahead of the curve, really. When people start buying up players, uh, you need to sell yours. And then that's when the price increased because they all drop theirs at the same time as we've seen with Salah. Salah went up to, on PC at least, 360-ish. He's now down to 250. 
hindsight, I should have sold, but I wanted to keep him. You know, he's uh, like only played games on my account. He hasn't got any other games. So, but next time he drops up to, uh, or he gets a couple of goals, and his hype hype price rises, should put him up to like 400k. I'll probably get rid of him and then buy him back when he gets the upgrade because I could have made like 100,000 coins, to be honest from doing that and I should have done that because I knew that was going to happen I done that I did that last year with icons I know how it works I know how the market works but yeah let me know what you think guys working man's road to glory we'll see what we can do it'll probably be squad battle draft seasons heavily based uh, along with squad builders and player reviews here there and everywhere I think that's where I'm actually going to take it and I'd be quite happy personally to do that we'll change the name of it to working man's road to glory and it will forever be that. It will not be something. It might be the occasional weekend league here or there if I've got a bit of spare time, if the girlfriend's away and I've got a day to go and smash through some games. But it's not going to be, you know, these road to glories that you always see on YouTube. And I always see them. And there are people who, this is their job. It's their job to play the game and make videos. They have the time to do this. It's a requirement of their job that they do do this. I, however, do not. I have other responsibilities and other things I need to do. So I am actually very happy with that idea personally and that's where I'm going to take this series from now and let me know if you want to see that or anything else you think I could include in this new Working Man's Road to Glory because let me know if you like that title as well, The Working Man's Road to Glory see, because I think it sounds alright actually it's a bit like Nick's Poor Man's Road to Glory if you know Nick 2080 I'd be surprised if you don't but Working Man's Road to Glory, yeah, definitely definitely something I could do We're just going to commentate the gameplay now, because I was doing well in Seasons. Uh, it is only Division 8, mind, and the teams aren't the best. I definitely have a far superior team. This team, however, has been scrapped, and you will see the new team in an upcoming episode. I might do a live one with my new squad builder, uh, and we'll play some Divisions, <laughs> because we've just made a resolution to no Weekend League. But, yeah, so we're carrying on in Seasons. My opponent here picking up a red card in the 6th minute. Not doing too well. We are of course going to give it to Shevchenko. Our penalties have not got any better, mind. And we are going to go and put this, even with the arrow, into the far side. And my opponent makes a brilliant save. 0-0. Nil -nil, down to 10 men. Does he have a chance, really? Well, yes, actually he does. Because he does well there. <laughs> he stops the ball for some reason. I thought he was going to shoot. I lunge in. I don't get a red card, interestingly. But he gets the penalty. And it's the chance for him to go 1-0 up. And I will say, after my opponent got this man sent off, he turned into the most boring player in the world. He was trying to hold possession, trying to really run the clock down as he slots that away and goes 1-0 up. However, it did not really work. Because it wasn't long after that that we combined beautifully between Salah and Shevchenko. And those two are a dream, honestly. I'm going off Sun a bit. I do love Sun. He has actually been sold now. The BPL team's been scrapped because I was bored of it. That's that's what I enjoy most about FIFA, in all honesty. Changing up the team constantly, finding new things that work. That's my favourite part of this game. I don't like sitting on one team. I don't like having a one-league team, to be honest. I like hybrids. My, my whole enjoyment in FIFA is squad builders, is finding ways to work in players on full chemistry. That's what I enjoy the most, and that's where we're going to take this series, definitely definitely we're going to drop the weekend league we're going to just do squad builders cheap squad builders expensive squad builders you know we're just going to do it all do it all except the weekend league and we'll see where we end up at the end of the year i imagine i'm still going to have a lot of coins a lot a lot of coins probably won't benefit me much on pc seeing as the most expensive players are generally about twice as expensive i was looking to buy vidal earlier and he's about 150 i want to say on console on pc he's about 280 so it is it is frustrating playing on PC because the really expensive players are that much more expensive as Arnautovic there misses and Sun luckily picks up the rebound putting us 5-1 but yeah that's where we're going to take the series guys I know I've said this enough times now I think you understand that's where we're taking the series but this is going to be the end of the episode we pick up apologies for the phone uh, a 6-1 win and we win the division, getting our 4,000 coins. Lovely jubbly. Up to 89,000 there in total. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it. Thank you for watching. 
if you like my idea of where this series is going to go, please let me down, let me know down below. Drop a like, subscribe, all that good jazz, and I will talk to you later.